MailChimp is a free email marketing platform that lets you manage and talk to your members through campaigns that you design yourself and have the option of automating. This tutorial will cover how to set up an account and send an email to a group of contacts. Once you're on MailChimp.com, you can start by creating an account. You will need to sign up using an email, activate your account through email, and then answer a few questions about you and your business. In this case, you would enter the name of your club. Once you're signed up, you'll want to add contacts that you'll be communicating with. To do this, click on Create, and then Contacts. The two easiest options are either to have contact information pulled from a CSV file or copy and paste info from an Excel spreadsheet. Click the first option and then continue if that's your preferred method, and then select a CSV file from your computer. A CSV file can be created by going into an existing Excel spreadsheet that has the contact info, and under File, Save As, select CSV file from the Save As Type options. Or, click the second option, Continue, and then input the contact info into the text box. The free version lets you input up to 2,000 contacts. Under Audience, Click on Sign Up Forms. Next, click Form Builder. And this page will generate a link that you can share with club members and they will be able to sub subscribe to your mailing list. In this window, you can design the form and decide what information you need to collect. On the right hand side, you can change the field label. whether or not it's required, or if you want it visible or hidden. Once you're done with a field, you hit Save Field. You can also add a field, and you can choose any of these options to add it in. To create an email, click on Create, and then Email. Enter your campaign name, and begin. Click Add Recipients to import the contacts that you want to send your email to. If you've already inputted your contacts, they'll appear here. Next, input the name of your club in the Add From field and the email it's coming from. Then hit Save. Add your subject line next. And then you can design your content. There are several different layouts and themes you can choose from and are free to use unless it says upgrade to use on it. Click on one to start editing it. You can click on any element to edit it. You can move them around by holding on this and then moving it down. Delete it by clicking on the trash can. And you can also duplicate something by clicking on this button. You can change the background color or image if this shows up when you hover over an element. You can input text by clicking on a text box and then editing the text that comes up on the right hand side. You can change the font, the size, the layout, and even the color. Click Save and Close when you're done editing an element. You can also add a block by choosing one from the right hand side and dragging it in. Another example that you can drag in is an image. And you can upload an image by clicking this button or browse over here. Click Upload. And then you can choose an image from your computer. Once the image is in, you can change the size by ensuring the image is selected and sliding the bar that appears. Once you're done designing your email, click continue at the top right. To see a preview of your email, you can send a test email from this button here and enter your email address that you want the test to be sent to. After viewing it in your email app and deciding it's ready to be sent, You can click the send button at the top right here. 
or you can click schedule and choose a time at a later date that it'll send automatically. Your email will be saved automatically, so if you don't finish and want to come back to it later, you can click on campaigns at the top, all campaigns, and it will appear in this list. To replicate an email you've sent before, click the drop down arrow beside it and click replicate. You can then click edit to input the most recent content into your existing template. Stay tuned for part two to learn more about using MailChimp to engage with members.